This was fantastic. You were the best of us. Farewell, Xavier. Your blindness has sealed your fate. Power one. Chris, do you want to run us through the bad heroes? Journey? I do. Joseph Campbell. But also, like, we're not going to talk too much about Joseph Campbell, the hero of a thousand faces, because again, the, the hero's journey, we can, you know, but the hero's journey has has a structure, um, and so the call to profits. So you know, they want money, so they 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 go to Star Wars, the meeting of the Mary Sue, <laughs> Ray's perfect journey, the abyss. Abolishment of canon, disrespect of beloved characters, loss of profits, <laughs> the point of no return, insulting the fan, bla- <laughs> fan base, losing the elixir, blaming the fans, <laughs> and then uh, the turn to oblivion, descent into mediocrity. Now, <laughs> that to me is funny, and I think it's funny to everyone because we all, we all know the hero's journey, like the, the, the path, yeah. and, and you can see where they've, they've faltered. Um, rather than returning from the journey with the knowledge of your j- travels and then, like, you know, to, to, to better the, the the land you left, they have not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. my God. That's a good... That is a... Oh. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the next meme. Okay. <laughs> who can do... Who, who, who can do the best Jar Jar Bink? Misa not Misa look so not bad. So look so bad now. Oh, that's a good one. It's gone John. from number one most hated characters to not make. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks has gone from number one most hated character to not making the top ten most hated character. <laughs> look, honestly, and I'll be honest. In defense of Jar Jar Binks, when I watched the the movie, because I was the right age for the film, I was yeah. the target audience for the film. I did not yeah. find Jar Jar annoying. Like yeah. I, he was like, you know, he was a character. Yeah. Like you know, again. Even if I... you objected to him, there was the the um, the meme of Darth Binks, oh, where you Darth... can go back and watch it and just think he's the Sith Lord. Every time he's saying something, yeah. he's waving his hand. Yeah. He's he's yeah. pulling Palpatine strings. Yeah. You know, I want. I wonder if he moved away from his original idea. If he was too afraid, like because of the the the, the, the. Well, I always thought it was like, hey, look at how good CGI is at that time. It's come. It's um, you know, leaps and bounds from when it first started in the eighties, and they were just like, look, he jumps, <laughs> you know, just flips yeah. around. Yeah. Do you remember? I'm not sure if you guys are old enough to remember this. Well, you are, but you know, I'm not sure, like. There was a Phantom Menace PC game that required, like, at the time, it required the most graphically intense graphics card you could possibly get to actually make it look good. And we got out, we got, we 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 convinced our parents to that our computer was so old we needed to get it refurbished and fixed up and with and and, and to the to these exact specifications. <laughs> Don't know why these exact specifications, but these are the ones we needed because we wanted to play the 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 game where you where you would. Players Obi One, and you go through like, and you go through the um, uh, the, like some of the scenes, and then you could then you could also play as um Qui Gon going through the market, at the, like yeah. um meeting Jar Jar, and then you, like, and honestly, that had like some, like that was an awesome game because it had like still had lightsaber combat. Then essentially, people shot at you with a lot, like, with the, you, you you can deflect the, the blast back at them. Oh, that was a good time. <laughs> right, Lucas on. Arts, it was back then. <laughs> <laughs> blue pill oh. the acolyte is canon red pill the holiday special is canon um give me that holiday special <laughs> give me the wookie person watching porn in his living room the holiday special <laughs> i don't you know i actually don't think i've seen the holiday special y- you have to i have to I'd say I'd say you don't have to because good lord that's some bad Star Wars but the the blue pill is right there to say but yeah, yeah. Right. no no that, that, that's like saying 
<laughs> oh, my favorite. Disney meme. shoots Star Wars. Disney. Why, is it dis- Why isn't Star Wars, <laughs> Wars profitable? profitable. <laughs> yeah, the classic classic meme there. I love I love how some memes are just so like you can take one picture and make a million memes out of it. Yep. Uh, all right. <laughs> classic one for the acolyte. <laughs> the power. Oh. Now there's a chant that we've all heard going around. I um, haven't heard it because I've been blocked off. Well, I, I I don't listen. I don't yeah. care about well, the, well, the you, acolyte. Memes teach things, Chris. So you kind of probably get no. I know of this. I know what they're trying. I've heard what they're yeah. trying to do. Am I going? Yeah. The good god. Yeah. The power of one. The power of two. And then interrupted by Rotten Tomatoes. The power of sixteen percent, which I believe is a, it's twelve percent now, isn't it? Or it's a lot lower. A lot, a lot lower. It just kept going down. Mm-hmm. Um. Now, Chris, can you do your Morgan Freeman accent for us when you read this one? <laughs> now, let me get this straight. Your film company has loyal fans for over 40 years, and they've watched the films multiple times and buy mass amounts of merchandise. And your plan is to insult these people? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic one. And yet, uh, every time they do it, and... <laughs> Every time it backfires, I and know. then it it's it's um it's Vass from Far Cry Three. Do you know the definition of insanity? Hmm. Yeah, doing the same thing over <laughs> and over again, expecting, expecting different, different results. results. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> I don't want to make any more that was just... You okay. want to go? <laughs> Again, one of my favorite scenes in Attack of the Clones. Mm. We don't want to buy some death sticks. You don't want to buy some of death sticks. I don't want to go for some of death sticks. You yeah. want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. <laughs> yeah. So there's. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's that scene, and it's got just Ryan Johnson's face on it, and he's just yeah. saying, "You don't want to make any more Star Wars films. <laughs> you want to go home and rethink your life." <laughs> oh, the internet always wins. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you, now do you remember? Was it the last, last, yeah, last Jedi was when Leia floated yep. in space. Uh, yeah. The Mary Poppins Mary bit. Poppins so there's, there's two types of reactions, which we've, you know, kind of have here. <laughs> there's um, laughter. There's laughter and pissed and off. Then, and then there's. <laughs> um, which yes. were you? I, I think mine was actually in between. I was shocked. I was like, I didn't know what I was. I mean, the whole, I think by that point, in the film when it, um now again chris made me watch this film three times um in my defense <laughs> i had pre-bought the there tickets. is there is no defense for that <laughs> i had pre-bought the tickets based on the hope that possibly could have happened at force awakens ending <laughs> yeah no but like and i guess in chris's defense as well what what are the stages of grief what's the first one denial you know, yep. so obviously you watch it once you get it can't be that bad, and then you watch it again. <laughs> You're in denial. I was um, willing it to be good. I was, yeah. I was. <laughs> I just, yeah, yeah. There's just the whole things about the film. I guess I was kind of like in shock, and when I got to that point, I didn't laugh, but I, I wasn't pissed off. I was just deer in the headlights. I guess was my <laughs> reaction to it. Yep. <laughs> All right, here's one. Um, run us through this one, Chris. Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the Sith, so powerful and wise. He could use the Force to influence the midichlorians to create life. But there was also some tribe of lesbian space witches that could do this. <laughs> that could do that too. So no big deal. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Let me. Now let me. Let me. Let me. Like. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. If you were dumb, which I, that's not hard for some people, this scene was a lie. There was no power to create a shape life. There was no. Th- he was telling him a lie because he was giving him death dreams so he could then convince him that that he could save his wife. Because when he came back and said, "Could you?" When he finally decided to go into it and said, "Can you save my wife?" That's when the lies revealed. He goes, together we can find out. 
That's when the lie is revealed yeah. to be a lie. That's mm. the whole point of a lie. Yeah. Anyway, but but having said that, brilliant scene in the yeah. film, like a brilliantly masterly cocked scene, and that the subtle head turns was was excellent. So I think that was yeah. you know. But having said that, yes, ah, the lesbian space witches they can do <laughs> they can do all the all the same stuff we can do. No, this is Mickey Mouse pissing on Star Wars. Yep. Simple, elegant. Yep. <laughs> And it just of course, speaks a thousand words. One of the fa- one of the now this this was just heartwarming. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and the les- then lesbian and lesbians witches are gonna impregnate by the force. <laughs> and then they take off the life support. Life support. In loving memory of memory Star Wars. Of Star Wars. <laughs> Getting a solitary tear. Nineteen seventy seven, two thousand twenty four.